let's look at another method for calculating for price index for unweighted unweighted things that things that have no weight yes it is called the simple relative method yeah and the formula is summation pn out of p naught times 100 out of n whereby pn is the number of items in the current year and then p naught is the number of items in the base year so this is the simple relative method summation pn out of p naught times 100 out of n n is the number of items so let, let's have an example. They have given us commodities, commodity A, B, and then C. Then they have given us the prices for 1998, 1999, and then 2000. If required, they want us to determine the price index using the simple relative method for 1999 and for 2000. So we are supposed to get the price index for this year and this year, meaning that we are going to use this as our base year. Yeah, we are going to use 1998 as the base year. If the base year is not indicated anywhere, if they do not tell you, if they don't mention it, you use the the previous year or the older year as the base year. So here we shall use 1998 as a base year to get the price index for 1999 and then for 2000. So solution we shall first draw the table. We have com commodity A, commodity B, and then commodity C. So we say the formula for calculating for price index using the simple relative method is summation Pn out of P naught. So we shall first get it is summation pn out of p naught times 100 then divide by n so we shall get the summation pn out of p naught for all the commodities but we shall have to first calculate for each commodity so for the for the base year since it is the base year there, there, there is no other year behind it so it will be the its base year and its current year at the same time. So we shall get Pn. This is Pn out of P naught times a hundred. Pn out of P naught times a hundred. So for nineteen ninety eight, we do not have any P naught. So we, we we shall use the same thing here in the question. They have given us the price for eight is twelve. So we shall come here and do 12 out of 12 since it's the same it's the same figure there is no other base here out of 12 10 times 100 so here it will be 100 and then for b it is 3 out of 3 times 100 is also 100 then 5 out of 5 times 100 it is also 100 so after that we add to get 3 and 300 to get the summation pn out of p naught times 100 so for 1998 it is 300 then for the next year for 1999 here 1999 is the current year and 1998 is the base year. So here we, we, we shall calculate it like this. In 1999, the, the price for A is 15. So it is 15 out of the base year, which is 12 times 100, which is 125. So it is what we did here. Then we do the same thing for product B. 3.6 divided by 3 times 100, we get 120. 6 out of 5 times 100, we get 
120 years. Then after that, we add and get the total. 125 plus 120 plus 120. We have 365. And 365 is the summation Pn out of P0 times 100 for 1999. Then for 2000, we are going to use 2000 as the current year and 1998 as the base year. So for product A, it will be 15.7 15 divided by 12. This is 1.3 times 100. It is 130. That's what we put here. Then for product B, it is 3.3. .3 this divide by this divide by three then times a hundred which is one hundred ten that's what we put here then we do the same thing for product C this divide by this times a hundred we get this after that we add the total and we get the summation P n out of P naught times a hundred for two thousand so the simple rel relative method, the formula was summation Pn out of P0 times 100, then out of N. Yeah, and we, al we already have the, we already have this for the year, they, they asked us to calculate for the year 1999 and, 20, and 2000. So, for 1999 we get this. 365 divided by the n, which is the number of items, 1, 2, 3. So divide by 3. Six, 365 divided by 3. We get 121.6. Yeah, so it is 121.6. 121.7 percent yeah. meaning that there was an increase of 21 percent the extra figures on 100 because we said the normal price index for base year is 100 mean meaning that the price has increased from 100 percent to 121.6 percent so there was an increase of 121.6 so there was an increase of 21.6 in the prices in 1999 compared to 1998. Then for 2000, we do the same thing. We get our summation that we got here, 354, divided by 3, and we get 118%. Meaning that there was an 18% increase in the prices of commodities in 2000 compared to the year 1998. And that is the simple relative method for calculating for price index. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Let's catch up in my next video.